Hey everybody, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Space Station Silicon Valley. This is part 19, I believe, and in the last episode we did Jungle Japes, the first level in the Jungle Zone. The dreaded Jungle Zone! And in this episode we are going to do Jungle Doldrums. Uh, I, for a second, like, after I started, after I finished the recording of Jungle Japes, I started thinking about this level, and... For the life of me, I completely forgotten where the gold trophy was, but it just sprung back into my mind a few hours back of where it actually is. So don't worry, I do know where the gold trophy is, otherwise I would have had to have looked it up online because I have got the gold trophy in this level before, it's not like I haven't. Okay, so let's read the mission stats. Jungle Doldrums. Hey, that log ride looks fun. Oh, it's not working. Be careful when you get to that fiery pit. Yeah. I can't be bothered to help you. Well, thank you for caring about me. Jeez. Turn on the log ride. Stop that parrot squawking. So if I die, you're not even going to come and save me. Is that really how much my friendship means to you? <laughs> okay. Well, that's like the weirdest friendship I've ever known of in my whole life. Oh, yeah. If you're in this very dangerous situation, it's not like I'm going to risk my own life to save you. Oh, jeez. We got Hippo. Uh, yeah, hippos can actually be quite hard to kill because they they shoot that stuff out their mouths and that takes a lot of damage. So the best thing to do to get rid of the hippo is just basically stay up here, I think. You can still get him. Um, as long as he doesn't spray his mines. <laughs> you see, as soon as he places a mine, he just runs away. Uh, I might have to go down there then and try and laugh it out and see if I can attack him. But he's just going to keep doing that stuff, and that's going to... Well, that's the stuff that's going to take the most damage. The stuff that he shoots out of his mouth. But if I keep doing this, I might be able to do something. Like, take some damage. It's not doing anything! Because my now he's going to hit me, and I'm going to die. I know it. Okay, dude, there's no need to fart in my face. Stop with that stuff! Oh my god! <sighs> Urgh! Hippos are so hard to kill in this game, it's unbelievable. Like, you really have to... And this is... I think this is the only level in the game where you get to play as a hippo. Like, I don't think there's any other levels in the jungle zone where you get to play as a hippo. And, really, you don't need to use the hippo for that much either. You just gotta use him to switch on the log flume, and that's it. So, yeah, you do have to actually kill this thing to complete the mission. So... <laughs> And also to get a few power cells that are in the water as well, because the hippo is so heavy it doesn't float, it sinks, as real hippos do. <laughs> oh, screw it, I'm just going to go and get myself some energy. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to go get some energy, because I'm not low on health, so I don't really need to. And if I do get the energy, then that's just a waste of energy, because... These hippos are quite hard to kill, but he's almost dead anyway, and I'm almost dead too, and I did die, and he died as well. Well, that was a brilliant result. <laughs> a double kill. Well, screw it, I'm going to make a cut, because I don't want to spend too much time on this. Alright, hippo is dead, and I have nearly enough for full health bar, so that's good. I didn't take too much damage there, and I didn't even have to use the energy. Type, hippo, environment, jungle, skill A, snort attack, skill B, sticky mines, water resistance, okay, mass... Huge, armor, tough, strength, strong, traction, good, four distance, medium, production, very long, engine, coal, and intelligence, low. Alright, so we got ourselves the hippo for the first time, and it's basically just a really slow animal, but not as slow as the elephant, obviously. The elephant's going to be much more slow, because its mass is much more huge. And with the hippo, you can walk underwater, and it's the only animal in the game that I think you can just walk around underwater with. Um, and not, you know, use a fish or something, like a piranha. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to step on the switch, which will activate the log flume. And the hippo is too heavy, so we can't jump on the log, the log flume, so we need to use good old hyena to get over the free tour. So we found ourselves the camera, and it's right at the start of the level. And it'll just show you, basically, the trials that are up ahead. And that room is a real pain in the ass. And so is this area here as well, but we'll get more into that when we get there. <laughs> I'll basically just explain everything that we'll be doing throughout the level as we make progress. And I just saw a power cell up on top of those log stumps. I'm not sure if I can actually get up there. I might be able to, if the hyena can jump that high. So let's transform into him and see what we can do. All right. <clears throat> 
Yeah, the, the reason why this level is a huge pain in the butt, like I said this level isn't so bad, it's not as bad as like other levels that are inside this zone, but it's definitely not as hard as, well it's definitely harder than um, Jungle Japes, because Jungle Japes is the easiest level by far in the jungle zone. Okay, so we're playing with a little bit of Frogger here, I guess, and <laughs> jumping from log to log to get to the other side of the river. Yeah, this is what we call Hyena Frogger, except from the fact you're playing as a hyena and not frog. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, these jumps can be quite tricky to make, actually. Yeah. Just try and get it as it comes towards you, and try not to get to it as it's going away from you. Dude, what the hell? What the hell was that? I was moving around too much, and apparently it was so fast that I started bouncing around and managed to lose and f lose momentum and fall off. And I actually took damage there. How can you take damage on this thing? I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to do on a keyboard though, because it's not full motion controls. Yeah, just do it as. I wow, I still didn't make it. Come on, dude. I can't see. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera. So I can actually get a good view. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. Now I can actually see where I'm jumping here much more clearly. Uh, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Don't move too much, otherwise you'll fall off. Just try and stand still. But you need to get yourself in the right position. So now we can just jump. Yay, we completed the game of Frogger. We got a high score of zero because we failed miserably at the start. <laughs> and it took us a few attempts to get over to the other side. Right, so now what you want to do here is you have to kill these elephants. Because um, as you can see, that there is no access point of getting up this hill here. And we can't get up these stumps either to get these power cells. But there, well, actually, there are two boulders here. I don't know if you can move these as the hyena and get up there. I've never actually tried that before. So maybe killing the elephants is unnecessary, but the elephants are much more bigger than the boulders, and you can use. Oh, never mind. Well, there you go. I don't even. You don't even have to kill the elephants. Well, <laughs> when, whenever I play this on the N64, the first thing I do is always kill the elephants. I guess it's just for high score and stuff. Yeah. But. You know, the high score isn't really necessary, and I don't think it's necessary to kill the elephants either, because they're trapped in this pit. You can't get them out of the pit, so really, you can't use them anyway. And there is an elephant, um, another elephant, much further up ahead in the level that we'll be using. Okay, so we can just use the same boulder here, hopefully, and we'll be able to get up here. It looks about the same height, actually, so we should be fine. There we go. Well, <laughs> that seemed, that actually saved a lot of video time, because killing those elephants is quite hard, especially as a hyena, and if I was um, to kill the elephants, I would have killed both of them, because I would have used both of them as, like, boulders, so I could get on top of the, both of the stumps, put one elephant in front of one stump, and I put one elephant in front of the other, and then move the elephant to get in front of the hill, so I could get up to the top of the hill. Now this part is a real pain in the ass because we have these things, meteorites, and they do take damage, so, and they take a lot of damage too. So uh, considering we got this far in the level, I'm going to make a cut and I'm going to make a save state, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, I'm not taking a gamble here with this because uh, this can be quite tricky. Uh, I've died here many times on the playing this on the 64, only because that if the meteorite actually lands, the impact of when it lands is what damages you the most. But I think if you just jump in front of the meteorite, it takes less damage, if that makes any sense. But, <laughs> yeah, it's just the impact of when it actually hits on the ground is what takes the most damage. See, like that there, and I just <laughs> got myself killed. Great. Okay, let's try that again. From the save point that I made, we're going to... Basically, all this is about is patience and knowing when you have to just run across to get past them. Oh my god, I am so low on health right now. Jesus, dude. And then there's another part that's really hard coming up too. Like I said, this zone is really ruthless and difficult in so many ways. Much more difficult than the last zone. The last zone is like a breath of fresh air compared to this. Alright, so now we need to kill the elephant. And why do we need to kill the elephant? Well, I'll show you why. Hang on a second. 
I don't know what the elephant wants to do with me. He just came up the, to the top of the hill to look what, what I was doing, I think. Alright, so yeah, just laugh attack at the elephant and kill him. Because we need to get ourselves a hold of that um, turtle over there. But you can't kill a turtle while using a hyena because it will use its coverage. And when it uses its coverage, it's like a defense mechanism where it's basically invulnerable to your laughing attacks. And the only way you're going to damage it is by using the water spray that the elephant has. Now this is where the level really starts to get, like, major difficult. If you're low on health like I am right now, you have a very small chance of getting past this. But I'm going to give myself, I'm going to give it a try anyway, so... Let's see how this goes. All right, just keep your distance, because the problem is with the with the tortoise tank, it has a cannon, and the cannon does a lot of damage on the elephant, as you can plainly see, and it also has um, a radius, like I don't know, if, uh, like it it doesn't have to hit you on impact, like it doesn't actually have to directly hit you to take damage. Err. Okay guys, I'm back. Right, so let's see what happens if we hit the switch over here, because I don't know what this does actually. Maybe it triggers something. Oh, right, okay. No, that's actually used for when you're the tortoise. You can use it for a guide, because as you can see, right in front of us, there is a huge chasm. And um, the huge chasm... Oh, never mind, I managed to kill it. Okay, <laughs> I thought I was going to be here for ages trying to kill that thing, but never mind. Right, so what you have to do here, this may look very intimidating, okay, because it looks like there is no way of getting across, but in fact, there is. Now, the thing that would be handy here is the Lens of Truth, but we don't have the Lens of Truth, so we're going to have to use our cannon instead. Basically, what you have to do, you have to take tippy-toe steps and just keep shooting the cannonball until you notice that you have to make a turn or something, because the cannonball will just fall straight down into the pit below. But right now, as you can see, it's actually hitting something because there is a path that we are driving on right now. But eventually, the cannonball will go straight over the edge uh, like that. And now you have to just know where you have to shoot next. And basically, it's like a guessing game, <laughs> in a sense. Well, it's not too difficult. I mean, when I first came across this part, it really stymied me. I just did not know what to do. Okay. Yeah, I came a bit unstuck. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this is just a straight, direct path here, but I think it is. Uh, just to be on the safe side, though, just keep on shooting the cannon until you know for definite that uh, I'm pretty sure I know for definite now that, yeah, it's a straight path. Okay, so here is the parrot. Now we just need to get rid of this guy, and then that's another objective complete, I think. Yeah, get, get killing the parrot's not too bad. It's just that he's a... He, uh, yeah, he, the parrot does have an attack, by the way, so if you take damage by that, I think it does do quite a lot of damage, but it's not got very good accuracy, so... Like, the chances of the parrot hitting you is... I, I don't think I've ever been hit by it anyway, so... I probably should make a save state just in case it does, because, you know, let's play as luck. The, the LP is cursed. Never mind, I killed it. <laughs> I thought the LP is cursed was going to strike. But here we go, this is the parrot. Type, parrot. Environment, jungle, skill A, flight, skill B, dive bomb, water resistance, excellent. Mass tiny, armor light, strength weak, traction very good, four distance very high, production very short, intelligent no engine bio and intelligence medium. Alright, so we now have ourselves a parrot. Yay, we can fly. Huh. I think this is a parrot I think this bird that you actually have to keep on tapping the A button to fly up. I think it's one of those animals. Like you can't keep hold of the A button and now you can't. Actually, yeah, I think you can. It's just that I have the Z button. No, no, you do have to tap it, sorry. <laughs> okay, my bad. All right, so now we're going to go get ourselves the gold trophy, which is all the way up here on top of this um, branch, I think. Yeah, there it is. See, I do remember it being there. Now, I know that there's a few power cells missing somewhere. 
I think what power cells are missing right there are three power cells missing apparently somewhere so I'm gonna have to go and look for those I think most of them are like down here in this area but I don't remember there being any on top of the branches so you really just got to scope out the area and just take your time Well, there's one down there right behind the tree I did get all the power cells inside the lava room didn't I I, I sure hope I did because if I didn't <laughs> I'm not going to be too impressed because I do not like that room at all and considering how low on health I am right now that's not going to help out much either if I do have to make another trip back there Okay, I'm gonna have a fly around here and well across this chasm. See if there's any power cells that I missed over here. Cause there might there very well might be uh you know, just to be on the safe side, double checking and all that. Cause I know that there's one on top of the hill, but I might have already got it. Yeah, I think I did. Well, I don't know exactly which ones I'm missing. How many? Yeah, we're missing two, aren't we? Right, okay. It's fine. They might, they probably might be at the beginning here somewhere. No doubt. But considering the emulator is like so glitchy and stuff, like the rendition. It can be quite a pain in the butt. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's uh, there's one, there's two. Right, okay, so there we go, we found them. Didn't have to go too far to look. <laughs> so there you go, we got ourselves all the power cells and all the and the gold trophy too. In this level, okay. I'm not sure if I got, no, yeah, I did get the gold trophy in the next level, because I remember I got all the gold trophies in the jungle zone, because it's the only zone in the whole entire game where I have actually got all the gold trophies. And <laughs> yeah, I know, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, because like I say, this zone is the hardest zone and all that, but it's the only zone in the whole game where I got all the gold trophies and all the power cells, obviously. Yeah. And the teleporter's all the way around here on top of this log, so. And that didn't take as long as I had suspected it would, which is good. Alright guys, so that's jungle doldrums for you, and I don't know what just happened there, but I wasn't even having my hand on the laptop, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, in the next episode of Let's Play Space Station Silicon Valley, we shall take on... Ah, this is the level I was talking about, the one that's a that, the one that's really hard, probably the hardest level in the whole zone. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing this level in the next episode, great! <laughs> um, so, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you all in the next video, and goodbye.